Hey guys, as you progress through the game, you may be interested in finding out how to deal bigger numbers. As we all know, bigger numbers equals more damage, which makes us a better player. Thus, now that you have slain Fatalis and are now decked out in his skin suit, you can finally relax. The challenge is over, right? Of course not, because then I wouldn't have any content to milk for this video. From a standpoint of most players, Vitalis' armor is the perfect combination of comfort and damage, giving you 100 health and stamina, as well as access to all the armor set secrets in the game. To be completely fair, you can easily clear all the content and stunlock a lot of monsters via the damage alone using a Vitalis set. However, this video is for the ones who want to push their damage even further. And thus, I present the Arch-Tempered Valkana, otherwise known as the ATV. If you have seen the Valkana armor, then you may be familiar with the set bonus. Critical element is a staple for any elemental set. But the real damage shines when you add in the 4 piece bonus, Frostcraft. Frostcraft adds an additional damage multiplier to your raw and elemental damage, at the cost of expending the Frostcraft gauge. In short, bigger numbers, monkey brain happy. The Arch Temper Valkana Gamma variant in addition to having these amazing set skills, hack on amazing armor skills, such as Coalescence, Peak Performance, and Focus, and a bit of quality of life by giving you some quick sheath as well. Sure, you'll be missing out on a flat 100 health and stamina from the Fatalis set, but for a good number of weapons, these are not even a big issue. The weapons that benefit most of the ATB set are ones that you sheath constantly as you wait for openings. Weapons such as the Greatsword, Sword and Shield, Longsword, and Dual Blades are especially synergistic with this set, as you likely sheath the weapon constantly throughout any fight. For weapons such as the Bow Guns, Charge Blade, and Switch Axe, while you will see a temporary damage increase from using the set, you'll quickly run out of the Frostcraft Gauge, and the damage will drastically decrease as a result. However, even non Frostcraft weaponry will see a dramatic increase to their damage if they have. Arch Tempered Valkana Greaves. Boasting a peak performance level 3 skill and a quick sheath level 2, you will be getting a hefty damage boost while providing some quality of life on the side. Just make sure you have the health augment. Let's do a quick comparison of numbers for a Frostcraft and non Frostcraft build. Using a damage set with my trusty longsword, I will do a Spirit Blade combo on the training monster with a Fatalis set and a Frostcraft set. In both clips, the dummy will not be tenderized. However, you can see a large DPS increase while my weapon has the Frostcraft gauge. While I do not use the Velcana Gamma set for all my weapons, I find it to be hands down the best armor set to use for Greatsword and Sword and Shield. The damage boost you get from the Frostcraft gauge with these weapons are absolutely silly. And every day I see new creative ways to use and abuse the Frostcraft mechanic from weapons I never considered pairing the set with. If you want to take a look at such example, I have linked Pyrax Frostcraft Heavy Bowgun video in the description, and you can see how people are finding new ways to maximize the armor set potential. That's all for today folks, and I wish you all luck in your Arch Temper Valkana hunts. Good luck everybody and I'll see you next time.